Since being elected in June, Milton MPP Parm Gill says he's been working with officials to do what's best for his constituents. And I'm happy to report recently the province uh, of Ontario and the government of Ontario has uh, filed uh, papers in the courts in terms of backing up uh, the Halton region and the other municipality in their fight against CN Intermodal. Uh, so the, the, the province has come on side. I'm getting lots of positive feedback, of course, from our regional chair and uh, our mayors, including Mayor Gord Krantz. Uh, that's an area that I heard uh, lots of uh, in, in very, very loud uh, and clear. And speaking of rails, the growing need for expanded GO Transit services is still a concern for commuters in town. Some of the things that I heard very loud and clear during the campaign, uh, all day GO train service is a major concern to Miltonians. Uh, we've got a sort of a morning service in the afternoon uh, and nothing really in between. According to Gill, almost 50 cents of a provincial tax dollar goes to the health sector and plans to have greater availability for long-term health care. We've got a health minister in Christine Elliott. She's uh, got a, a wonderful experience and a resume behind her. She's doing a, a great job and uh, it's an area that uh, needs some attention, especially in the long-term care beds, you name it. So we, during the campaign we announced that we're going to be creating long-term care bed spaces uh, over the next 10 years in a tune of about 15,000. The MPP says he wants Milton to have a stronger presence in legislature. It's truly a, an honor for me and I will uh, continue to being a strong voice at Queen's Park and which is what I committed to during the campaign and I will continue to do that and deliver results for our community. Reporting from Milton, for Halton News, I'm Hayden Narine.